Hey YouTube, this is Big Dre 20. Um, excuse the mess, but this is all for testing purposes. I have the Soundstream TXP4 3500D for my mids and highs. I have the Soundstream TXP1.18000. This is the biggest of the Soundstream TXP lineup, the new extreme power amplifiers. I'm clamping it and metering it now, so this should be displaying the wattage as well as the meter results i've uh, for electrical i have 120 amp hours of four c max cells and a single auto tech engineering 370 amp alternator charging it so at idle is getting 220 amps i have two sound string t sound string x 515s this is a test box a port that i made myself this is a sono tube, 10 inch port that I made from um, a, a sono tube that I bought from Lowe's. They use them for building material. So went ahead and just, like I said, this is all testing purposes just to see how it how it plays out. Now I'm clamping this with the SPO Labs third edition base meter, wireless base meter. This is the meter here at the glass. All the doors and windows will be sealed except for the driver's side. I'm going to leave it open. And I'm using the LC1 base knob. Voltage is resting at 15.6 volts. I'm going to be trying different frequencies to see what the amplifier does. Now I'm unsure this is my first time testing it. I just hooked it up yesterday. Right now I'm going to do a sweep. You can't, probably can't see it, it's a little blurry from 30 to 60 hertz and let's uh, see what happens so that was a sweep now the peak is 43 hertz and i did 3862 watts at 43 hertz now if you look in the scene i believe it was over 4700 watts in there somewhere so the amplifier has power that it can put out definitely i'm going to try different frequencies to see let's start off at 30 hertz we're going to start off at 30 hertz see what it does like I said this is all testing purposes you know what I'm gonna go ahead and reset Let's see if I can reset it all right now we're gonna try 30 Hertz again and see what kind of power we can get out of it. Well, I definitely showed the meter results, but I needed to show the power results as well. This is my first time using it here, so bear with me. I'm gonna try 30 hertz again. Okay, so finally got it to register at 30 hertz, 3,725.8 watts, and it did a 141.8. Now, this is all testing purposes. My back hatch is incompletely sealed in this truck. My back hatch is broken right now. I'll show you guys that in a minute, but just showing you guys what this amplifier can do. And so far, it seems to be doing some pretty nice power for what it is. So I'm going to try 45 hertz. So, I mean, sorry, 35 hertz. The first one was 30 hertz. This is 35. I'm going to try to reset this again. Okay. Like I said, bear with me. This video might be kind of long. 
I'm just getting familiar with the with the meter and trying this res these results this the first time and uh, it'll be many videos like this in the near future of different amplifiers and setups so if you like this this kind of footage you know stay tuned 35 Hertz with the Soundstream TXP1 18,000 D So at 35 hertz, it did a 145.8 dB at 3,759 watts. I'm not sure what my rise is. This is my first time doing this test. I just hooked this up yesterday, as I stated before. Now this one is going to be at 40 hertz. I'm going to reset this again. So let's see what it does at 40 hertz. Okay. 148.4 dBs at 3,173.8 watts. So I clap less as you've seen close to my peak. So I'm the loudest at around 40 hertz but I didn't clamp nearly as much power as I did at the other frequencies and nor was my output nearly close to the 48 all amplifiers do different powers at different frequencies the amp dynos show these amplifiers doing 40 hertz but not all, ampl not all amplifiers are meant to be tested at 40 hertz and that's what this test is all about show you guys what kind of power you get out of this amp at different frequencies so now I'm going to be doing 45 Hertz I'm going to reset the meter here forty five Hertz Gain a tenth of a dB, 148.5 dBs with 4,132.9 watts clamped. So it definitely gained some power going from 40 to 45 hertz, but the output was not much at all. So now I'm going to try. At 50 Hertz so 50 Hertz here you want to reset the meter and let's see what it does at 50 all right 4379.4 watts with only a 147.5 DB now as you see this application a little more or less power and a little more or less output so sorry for the background this is now 55 Hertz I'm gonna reset the meter again here sorry to make this video so long 55 Hertz Let's see what it does. Four thousand three hundred and seventy-two point five watts with a one forty-four point six dB at fifty-five hertz. Now I'm gonna reset that again. I'm not sure if it got the wattage right, but let's see. Fifty-five hertz. One more time, see what happens. All right, so pretty much was accurate. 4,372.5 watts with a 144.4 at 55 hertz. So now we're gonna try 60 
which is going to be the last of the test today. 60 hertz. Go to reset the meter. And hope you guys enjoyed this footage. Sorry to make the video so long. I'll be also doing results of this amplifier on music to see what it does on music. Now, as you see, the frequencies change during this testing and the output does as well. You can expect the same during music. You're not always going to see the, the high 4000s and you definitely won't always see around 3000 watts. Uh, could be more or less depending on the music that you, that's played. Well, here's 60 hertz and let's see what it does. That's 4,193.1 watt with a 142.7 dB at 60 hertz. Now, once again, sorry to make this video so long. I hope you stay tuned from the beginning to end. So, um, sorry to make things a little, if it was a little confusing, if you need any help with clarification on this, I can help the best I can. Just go ahead and uh, send me a comment. You can also find me on Facebook or Instagram, Big Jure 20 for any questions. Um, it's all a learning experience for me. It's all fun. I love all things car audio, and I'm willing to help and do as much as I can. We can learn together. So if you like what you see, like I said, this is the Soundstream TXP. 18,000 at one ohm. I don't know what my rise is. Powering the two Soundstream X515s. And stay tuned for more. I'll have different amplifiers with this setup. So stay tuned. As always, it's peace and love.